So here's my issue with Cooked Dragon. It would taste fucking disgusting. So, I'm going to- hold on, I need to get my serious music for my serious talk. Hold on. There. Now, here's my issue with cooking any kind of giant dragon or whatnot. It would be tough and disgusting meat. If there is anything to realize, you need to learn how to fucking cook it. My main issue with this shit is that there's so many ways that you can come up with different means of cooking delicious, wonderful creatures in the Forgotten Realms or whatever for D&D, tabletop RPGs, Monster Hunter, you name it. And my main issue is that no one understands the logistics of a giant predatory animal being musky. It is disgusting, tough meat that is not marbled with fat because lizards really don't get that unless they eat well, and having it be a giant lizard means that it will not be active a lot. You would need to cook that thing as soon as it eats its last meal and starts gaining all that weight. And especially because the animal would be tired and everything, eating a giant fucking portion of its life away, it would need to rest. You wouldn't have this big badass battle or anything unless you piss it off enough. You would have it to just assassinate that shit. My issues always stem with everyone thinking, oh, it's all powerful and everything. It's a fucking rat that can breathe fire. Do you understand the way that you can just, like, deal with that shit? All you would have to do is fucking drown it! Most of these things don't even have a freaking survival, like, any instincts. It just knows eat, sleep, repeat. Ivy in snake, ivy in lizard, ivy in reptile. The only ones that taste any good are big crocodiles. But that's because people spice the utter living shit out of it. You will need to spice your meat. Give your meat a good old rub. And I will not take no for an answer. People can't cook food. This is a fantasy setting. Nine times out of ten, they'll have prestidigitation at best. And even then, they'll have salt. What else would you have? Herbs? No, 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 no. You need peppers. You need, like, spices. You need to do everything. Not only that, you need to marinate that meat. Also need to worry about, hey, parasites exist. Food storage exists. This is a medieval time. If magic isn't common, you're shit out of luck. Garlic is a good way to go, yes. And not only that, here's one more thing. You want to fight that shit? You need a big weapon. And you don't want anything like this fucking lazy ass shit thin sticks. Gore spears are the way to go. You need that thrusting power too. Get a fucking ballista. You want anime bullshit, even if you have enough strength, your weapon may not have enough strength. And then there's the logistics of actually feeding everyone. You want to feed everyone this fucking giant beast when there's tons and tons of them out there? Where people can individually go on raids and everyone reels in one a day of a hunter's guild of like at least 50 people, story-wise? then you're going to be having to deal with more issues than just that. You're going to have wildlife be exhausted. You're going to have entire ecosystems crash because these things are eating so much. And not only that, if they can't consume enough, they die themselves. So you're eating very thin lizards and such that are weak. Sure, you killed a rat, but now you have to deal with, oh, I had something small. It was piddly and weak, just like how our ancestors destroyed everything. Yeah, humans don't know shit when it comes to fighting monsters. And here's even more. There's better ways to actually just deal with it. There's just tons of traps that you can use. You don't want to go up against that thing. You want to live. You want to live to tell the tale. If you say you killed them, people will be like, okay, tell me this method. And if you say, oh, I did these, like, cool flips and everything, the average show will be like, okay, shit, what am I gonna do? But if you say, oh, I use traps and everything, and I use this, and everyone's like, uh-huh, 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 uh -huh, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I will slap the desk with my fists. Like that. 
I will fight anyone who thinks that it is logistically possible to constantly kill these things. Sure, people went whaling in the past, but that's because they have the proper methods and everything, and whales are easier to take down than giant fucking lizards that will actually have a freaking Gatling gun on their back or something. Or, you know, the freaking zappy little snakes and horses and whatever else they throw at you. Or, you know, the giant monkey. I am a rabid individual who will fight anyone about this shit. And I will debate them and I will win. You don't want to eat these things. You don't want to try. You will be disappointed in yourself. You will hate it and you will hate having to eat nothing but rat roast meat for 12 weeks straight. Because even if you do smoke it, that'll be tough as shit. You'll have to stew that thing for hours. And if you pot that meat, as in like putting the meat in a pot or a crock to actually deal with it and spice the ever-living crap out of it, you'll be tasting more spice than meat. Not to mention that if these things are toxic in nature or a venom or poison glands or whatever, you're going to be eating death. You're going to die as you eat stuff. Enjoy! Not to mention the quality of the meat as well as the intake of the monster will be a big. So hey, fun fact about polar bears. People kept on eating their livers and dying of vitamin C poisoning. If these lizards have enough vitamin C in their livers or any kind of organ that will never be good for you or parasites or other diseases that you don't know anything about that they may have sleeping dormant in them, you're fucked. And I've eaten snake before. It's like eating one big muscle. You don't want to. Like, it's food. It's edible. Do I want to eat it? Not usually. But still. Yeah, it's like, Dungeon Meshi actually tells you some of my favorite things about how you can eat, like, whatever. Sure. But the only episode I fucking hate is the dragon episode. It makes no sense to me. I know we'll get there eventually, Annie, dragon, whatever. And if anyone else is here, I know Kai watched it with us as well, Kiyuki and, uh... Uh, algae. But still, that is my least favorite episode, not just because it's a freaking rat. They do that fight very well, and they also talk about metabolism of beasts, and I'm like, mm, yes, let me eat that up, and why are they so happy about eating it? But it's like, hey, mandrakes, basically root vegetables. Tubers, enjoy. Uh, bat, yeah, having to eat a bat, and you'll need to drain that blood quick and make sure that it doesn't have any diseases. I didn't like how they cooked it. Because with lizards, you don't have to have that meat. The lizard meat is not fatty. It's not anything like that unless that lizard is eating a lot. And most of the time, big things in settings usually don't eat major stuff that will produce a lot of fat. For example, if we take the standard issue like Red Dragon from D&D, most of the time, a creature that big would be flying about and will be eating whatever it can to sustain energy and will be having a lot of issues with... Oh, uh, what was it called? Um, met met Metabolism, that's it. And I am looking at it thinking, this animal will be suffering. And I'm just looking at it just thinking, is it a service? Is it weak when we attack it? What would be the best way to handle it? Yeah, yeah, here's my whole thing. People don't understand in so much anime, sometimes they just ruin the food. Not just because of my palate, but it's just stupid. Nekomata, I watched Dun I read Dungeon Meshi before the anime was even announced. I read all of it. You have no right to stay up in this house and say that. I've read all of it, I've watched all of it, I love Dungeon Meshi! I kept on telling everyone I knew to read it, and I was saying to everyone, Hey, I'm super excited for this anime! It's one of my favorite manga out there! And then everyone's like, eh, we'll watch it, sure. And then it's like, meanwhile me, I shut up for a fucking month. People see it's on Netflix, so they watch it. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, but I'm gonna fucking say something! I kept on telling people for YEARS to read that shit! I kept on telling people I hope this thing it's a manga, and a manga, an anime adaptation, and I'm so glad it did, and I can't wait for season two, but I want to strangle some people for not listening to me. 
It's like, I know what you would like. I know what you would love. Please let me be happy. And please make you so sad. But no! I love you all, but please listen to me more. Because I grabbed the classical playlist, Nekomata, that's what it is. Ugh. I can keep going. I can keep going for hours. I am in rage mode. This is me being angry sensei hours. I'm this monster that people have created. And no one will stop me. Except for my own hunger. <laughs> now then. I can go on for the first episodes of why I actually love them. The way they cooked the giant scorpion? Amazing! The way they cooked all the, all the few and everything, and that little, like, sort of cheese-like thing? Tactically amazing. I fucking love that. But it's just, like, my one main issue is that Senshi is, like, very, very kind of gatekeepy about, like, eating food. But he's also not. Like, for example, it's like, you do realize that sometimes people can have salted meat and everything, but it's like, they can get some nutrients, combine it with everything. They don't need to just constantly forage, but if they bring in extra stuff, they're kind of have to deal with weight capacity and everything. And it's just like, oh my gosh, Sunshi, I love you, but please, Goober. Oh, there are so many different things that I just freaking... I love everything of Dungeon Meshi so, so much. With how skillful it is, with how amazing it is, it's just... I love every episode, except for the dragon one. But still! Oh, it makes me so happy. But still, anyway... Uh, yeah, uh, long story short, Monster Hunter food is Monster Hunter food, and I believe it to be animals or livestock, but that'd probably be a big threat of everything. But, it is also why I hate all those beasts. I want to eat the candy bugs so badly. Yeah, Sam. I will call you out, Yamba! Hold on, wait a moment. You're being called out now, Yamba! You need to make a good system of actually cooking me! I will make it so that you understand. There is one big issue that so many things have actually brought that I will use Etrian Odyssey Untold 2's... Uh, not Dungeon, the Labyrinth Cooking for. Etrian Odyssey Untold 2 is a remake of Etrian Odyssey 2. And it was made in 2014. Yes. Yes, it was. Don't, don't be angry at me. Now then, I am old. I get it. Sensei old. Talking about decade-old game. But I fucking love what they did with how they cooked everything! They give you, like, rough quantities and everything, but they also base it on actual food people would want, doing a mixture of both foraged goods and things that enemies drop. But not every enemy drops meat! Wasps give you nectar that they had in their stomachs and everything. Uh, moths give you the same thing, but whatever. Yes, moths. Moth nectar. Uh, there's a lot of bugs and everything you can eat. Yes! You eat the bugs! You make the freaking poisonous plants into tea with the buds because that's not where the poison is located! Like rhubarb and stuff she does that, where the stalk is edible but the leaf is not! And I will be so, so willing to give you all the fun stuff. I will not use Metopia. Metopia is a goofy thing because all the enemies have food on them for some reason. And I love that gimmick. Except for some of them don't have food on them and become the food. But still, I freaking love Etrinazi's uh, uh, Labyrinth Cookery. Because there's everything like, hey, we saw this statue and saw that it's resistant to fire. What if we heat that shit up and make it into a stew with it? Then there's things like, oh yeah! This freaking butterfly. It is a venomous butterfly. Yes. Remove the venom gland from the freaking area of the bug's thorax, and then you just freaking glaze it with sugar. It's really stupid, but fun. Killer deer, make it into a venison steak. They slow cook the steak, and they give you asparagus with it it's so so delicious looking and i love it uh annie christmas probably anyway i think that's it yamba i will help you make your cookery but for now 
I, I need to go before I go into rage mode again. <laughs>